Welcome back, guys, to Kerbal Space Explosion. So our Eve Spectacular, Spectacular, is continuing. We only have two more parts left to send, and these two are going to be a little bit easier because they're a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable. We've got this guy who is going to be our tug. He's going to take our Eve lander and push it out of orbit around Eve so that it will fall into Eve on its own with full fuel. And so let's go ahead and get going. This should be <laughs> much more simple than our, our last couple of en endeavors with our 900 part launches and whatnot. Um, okay, so we need to dock this guy with the ship in orbit. Last time we docked the Eve lander and the interplanetary stage and unfortunately only th four out of seven of the docking clamps docked and i don't know why i don't know why as far as i can tell the radius you know the sizes everything lines up perfectly but they won't all dock i may try undocking them and see if they'll redock properly I may try that and if we can't get them to dock correctly i don't know what we're gonna do because getting to Eve with only some of those docked, it's, I don't know, it's just going to be a nightmare. But uh, we will cross that uh, threshold. Threshold? No. We'll deal with that hurdle once we get there, okay? For now, we just, whoa, why are you being so unstable? Why are you spinning? You're symmetrical. Stop spinning. Um, but for now, we just have to rendezvous with that guy. Why are you spinning? Uh, that doesn't make any sense. He's symmetrical. He shouldn't be spinning. Anyway. Okay, there's another set of tanks. Here is our target right there. And we're more or less on target for it. So anyway, this is a fairly typical standard launch. And I'm just going to fast forward and cut until we are ready to dock with the guy. It is is so much easier maneuvering this little guy around. Now, I am getting some really stupidly low frame rates while I'm recording something like five frames per second right now. It's gonna look a little choppy. I, di I honestly didn't expect it to be this choppy. Um, I didn't think this would be too many parts for the game to handle, but it's not liking what I am doing to it. We are four meters from our mark, we need to drift over this way just slightly. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of work. If we can't even get this thing to Eve because the decouplers aren't syncing up properly, that's gonna be disappointing. But uh, I'm gonna do my best to try. Okay, let's, um, let's actually slow down a bit. Slow down a bit, 2.5. I think we need to do this and that. And, oh, we're very close. Go over this way. And that way. Touch. Touch. All right. Last piece of the puzzle. Here is the Gilly Lander. It's pretty simple. Try to make it small and minimal. Five, four, three, two, one, go! After we dock this guy, we will try to the best of our ability to set off for Eve, even if I have to do it in short little bursts of rocketing. Uh, I tried, I tried several times undocking the interplanetary stage with the Eve lander stage and trying to get them to redock. And I basically I just went, uh, backed it up and uh, pushed it forward to try to get it to redock. And the best I could ever get was three of the seven docking clams docked. And since we started with four, I just did a quick load and reverted. So. <laughs> We're gonna try it with four, and we only need it to get there. Now, once we get there, we can use Eve's atmosphere to slow us down and get us into some kind of orbit. And then at that point, I don't. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. We may end up stranding my two favorite Kerbins, Kerbalites, Kerbal dudes, uh, Hud Hat and Buzz. We may end up stranding them over there in Eve, or we'll at least try to get them back. I think after this Eve mission, for better or for worse, whether it 
it's a wild success or a cataclysmic failure, we're going to do some recovery missions to try to get some of our many Kerbal guys back from wherever they happen to be. We have a lot of them stranded. We got a guy on the moon. We got a guy on uh, Drace. We've got people in random weird orbits all over the place. And uh, this launch is fairly standard, fairly easy. We're about to lose another of our tanks. Goodbye. Thank you. And let's take a look at our target. It is directly above us. All right, so I'm going to get this guy into orbit. Fairly standard stuff. And then we will try to rendezvous him, see if we can take off for Eve. Okay, here we come. We're getting close. This is the last piece of the puzzle. The, the puzzle that we're missing pieces of because the whole thing is broken. Okay, let's back. Slow down, slow down. Oh, crap. We went by it. We went by it. Okay, go this way. Go this way. No, no. Uh, go this way. Go, go this way. This way. And slightly that way. Crap. 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 I was right there, too. Damn it. Damn it. Go back. Go back. We have very close, and then start going towards again, because you're drifting away. You bounced off, you nub. You dork. Okay. Okay, we're, we're, very, we're very close again. Until we bounce off again. We're very close again. Very close again. Oh, boy. And the frame rate is very low. Very low. We are just a few meters away. I could get out and push. I actually I actually could, but uh, this, this will be slightly more effective than that. Go this way. Go this way. Very close. We're very close now. Very close. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. Go this way. And then a line. No, no. Actually, we want to be kind of like this. Kind of like that. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Yes, connect. Connect, please. Please connect. Please connect. What are you doing? <laughs> connect. Connect. Connect for... Here, let's turn RCS off and turn that off. Maybe they will do their own thing. They're trying. They're kissing. Are they... Come on. Are you going to do it or what? I'm right on there. It's a little bit... The, the angle is a little bit off kilter. But uh, let's let's just check on it. It's not together because I only see Hudat. We don't see Buzz. Oh man, my heart's beating. Come on, <laughs> so, sooner or later. Hopefully, whoa, there it went. Yes, <laughs> success, success. Look at that monstrosity. Okay, let me zoom out here and let's make sure that we still have a normal orbit. Eighty-two <laughs> kilometers. 88 kilometers. Okay, fine. Oh my gosh. It's together. We assembled it. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. And my frame rate is not happy with me. Unfortunately, it's a 32-bit game. So it can't take advantage of my 16 gigs of RAM in my computer. But we did it. We designed it. We got it into orbit. We assembled it. We have a Gilly lander. We've got an orbital tug for deorbiting this guy, the Eve lander. We've got an interplanetary stage here to get us to Eve, hopefully. Crush fingers, knock on wood. And then we've got a little crew cabin here uh, for bringing back our two guys in the fuel dump around Eve, if possible. Uh, whew, okay. That's enough for today. I need a little bit of a break. Next time... Next time, we will try our darndest to get to Eve, even though only four of these decouplers are coupled. Three of them are not. That's going to cause problems, but we will try to do our best to, to do what we can with the situation. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my gosh, we assembled it. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.